G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and today we're looking at the Ada Imaging PTZ X12 IP PTZ camera on this episode of Will It Work With vMix? So let's get to it. Does vMix support the Ada Imaging PTZ X12 IP? Yes. I mean, we are making a video about it and we're talking about our supported hardware page, so yeah, you would hope that it works, and yes, it does. So thanks for the great question, Tim. These videos are just a basic giant reminder to everyone to check out our supported hardware pages if you're ever looking to buy stuff for vMix. So before we go any further, I just let you know that I will be using the Australian Z as opposed to Z. So if you do have a problem with this, please vocalize it in the comments as I would love to hear what you have to say about that. So the Ada Imaging PTZ X12 IP is a PTZ camera from Ada Imaging which you've probably already guessed by now, as I've mentioned it a number of times. But if not, I'll flash some cool graphics around the place as a quick reminder. Now this particular model here supports Visca over IP control. So you're able to use the PTZ controls in vMix if you have vMix 4K or Pro. Now they also have other PTZ models, including NDIHX and also a 20 times zoom version of this one. So if those list Visca over IP support, uh, then they should also work in vMix. All right, so I'm gonna quickly show you what those PTZ controls look like if you've never seen it before. Check out our other video if you wanna know a little bit more. So as you can see here, I've got my camera. If I click on the settings, I can click on PTZ. As you can see, I've selected the device type, which is Sony Visca over IP. Um, I've got the IP address, and then I can connect it and move it around and do all sorts of stuff with it like so. Then I can create presets up here, so it will move it to that particular place. I can create a number of those. Um, so that's a bad shot here. So I can go to one that I've already created as a preset and that's going to move back to where I need it to be. So you can always use their web interface or their remote if you didn't want to have the controls in vMix. So it's not a will it work with vMix video without actually using the product. That's right. So I've actually connected up the Ada Imaging PTZ camera as you saw before, and I've been using it in this production at 1080 5994p. Now, as you can see, I've got my entire production here running at that uh, resolution and frame rate. So on the left over here, I've got my uh, Ada Imaging camera. And on the right here as my main output here, I'm currently using the very expensive Ursa Mini Gen 2 with uh, a, a nice lens on it. So this is a very expensive uh, cinema camera compared to this particular PTZ camera. So this is definitely not a picture comparison video. The reason I'm using this camera here is because it was too much of a hassle to move all my teleprompter gear without breaking it. So I was gonna do everything on this camera, but I tried to move it and it just became a bit too much of a hassle on a Friday afternoon, unfortunately. So it's not a picture comparison. So as I mentioned, I've got both cameras here set up at 1080, 59, 94p. Uh, this camera here goes up to 1080, 60p. All right, so now I'm going to switch to this camera and I'm going to talk about it. All right, so I've actually got this camera here connected up via SDI to my studio PC that's using a black magic capture card. Now it also supports HDMI and IP streaming as well if you're looking for a PTZ camera that offers that functionality. Now I have to make another apology. Again, I'm sorry. You can leave a YouTube comment if you like, but because I didn't move the teleprompter, I have to look a little bit creepier as it's now to the side and not in front of the camera. So apologies for looking a little bit more creepy. For those that like me looking creepier, then this is the video for you. Now I would put these particular PTZ cameras in the quite affordable price range. Um, I don't know whether that is an official price range, but that's what I'm putting it in. So if you are looking for an affordable PTZ camera, then you might wanna add this one to your list for investigating. Now we don't make camera recommendations here because everybody's situation is going to be different. You're going to be filming something different, lighting is going to be different, people have different expectations as to what's good quality, what's bad quality, what's worth the money, what's not, what features it has, all that kind of thing. So we don't make any sort of comparisons here. Um, if I tried to make a comparison video, then I would just get a lot of angry YouTube comments, um, more than I'm probably already going to get today uh, about the other things that I mentioned. But I would definitely try and check out some real world uses of this camera, either in store or if someone that you know has one, or check out some online footage tests as they're going to be able to set that up a lot better than I would be able to. You may be even able to contact Ada Imaging to see if they've got any footage tests for you. So yeah, this is just what it looks like in my um, tutorial studio. This is my setup here, um, my usual setup that I have for my recording. So yeah, this is what it looks like. So you can check out the Ada Imaging website if you wanna know any more information about the nitty gritty and all the details of the particular camera, you can drop them an email. The website is adaimaging.com. 
Now I'm going to switch back to this camera. So thanks for joining us today on this episode of Will It Work with vMix or We Wuver. We make these videos as just a general reminder to check out our website for supported equipment with vMix. Whether it's cameras like this one that have PTZ controls, capture devices, tally or controllers, all of that information is on the supported hardware page on vmix.com. If you have any questions about vMix or want to try it out with the PTZ controls, we have a free trial on our website. We have a contact form on there as well if you want to get in contact with us. We don't really answer technical questions on YouTube as it's far too hard to do diagnostics from here. If you have any technical questions about the camera, please email Ada Imaging. You can go to their website and go to adaimaging.com. So thanks for watching and we will stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.